And the 28-year-old from Hungary. Hungary, Bulgaria ready to tangle at 57 kilos. And let's see if the Bulgarians can keep it rolling. Already three finalists. Will they make it four at 57 kilos? Ristova is 25 years old. She competed in the women's 58 kilos at the 2016 Summer Olympics. She was eliminated in the round of 32 that year, but been positioned in this 57 weight class the last couple of years and now ready to go. Matched up against Barka, the 28 year old from Hungary. Hey, hey. Hey, no fingers. Wrestler with the elbow. Barca backs out of that, wants to restart, and so does the official. Why did I give him the finger? Red on block. Hey, turn red. Barca operating with the Russian tie, looking for the trip. Stova able to rip that arm, but right Come back on, comes the Hungarian. That's her favorite tie. You can tell that's how she wants to work, and because she's initiated that tie, a quick warning and more action from Ristova. No score, minute into this first period. Semifinal number two tonight at 57 kilos. Barca with control of the left arm and a whistle and a restart in the center. Red, come on. Davai, do not block. Up, Red. To that red zone. No, oh, nice slide by there by Ristova toward the edge of the mat, and they will go one on a step out. And I believe they're going to say it was Barca. And a challenge coming from the Bulgarian corner. So the call on the mat is that Ristovo, I believe it was her hand that went out first as we take another look. Again, back in that Russian tie, the two-on-one set. That's how Barca has been working. You see them go over, slide by attempt, and that right hand was out of bounds by Ristova. So this will be a pretty quick challenge if there even is a challenge. And now the board showing that it's been canceled. Would not be a bad thing for Bulgaria if it gets canceled. See the confusion between the corner and the official. Okay. And I think they want to decide if indeed the challenge is going to stand or if it was canceled. And it looks like they've had a change of opinion, so they will go back to the film. Keep an eye on the Bulgarian's hand right there. That right hand going out of bounds and the risk you run, not only do you lose a challenge if you're Bulgaria and Hestrova, but you lose a challenge, you also lose a point. So it could quickly become a 2-0 deficit if this call stands, which I think it will. Look at the that chairman and the trio of referees. Commission taking a look at the video footage to try and decide if it indeed will be a point. Looks like they have reached a verdict and we will get that as they relay the information on to the mat side. Take a look at the bottom of the screen. We'll see what board gets held up. And it will be a point for Hungary as expected. So the challenge lost. Barca gets the point. 427 to go in this first period. One nothing the score. Ameshe Barca on top. 
Parker looking for that backside trip. Has that arm all bottled up. And another point is going to be given. Barca will go up 2-0. Yeah, but then was foul. But actually was foul. Right, what? What, but then passivity or what? And, and foul? Well, it was clear foul. Oh. No. So the referee got white paddled there, and you don't usually see the conversation between the referee and the judge, but you heard some of the conversation between the two clearly on a different page. So no point awarded there, and a 1 0 lead remains. 357 remaining in the match late in this first period. Kind of an awkward transition, but it works. Barca gets two, quickly swings around to the front side, back over toward that natural position. So Barca going to work. She's been the aggressor in this first period in a 3 0 lead. Working on that cross face, possibly trying to work the cross face toward the edge, but she lost her positioning and out of bounds and a restart in the center. Impressive first period by Amishe Barca. Continental bronze medalist has a pair of world bronze medals back in 2013, 2016. Wrestling really well of late. Closed out 18 on a high note, has been tough in the early stages of 2019. Tight roping that border and coming around the backside is Bulgaria. Critical moment late in this first period. Bridging into that tripod is Barca. No points awarded yet and there's the two. It's Barca who comes away with it. And Hungary with a five nothing lead, but let's see if that call is confirmed. It is so. Terrific job by Emeshe Barca when it looked like she was in danger of giving up too late. And a tough opening three minutes for Bulgaria. Love to take another look at this scramble late in the first period. See her have control of the arm, but then sweeping around was Sir Strova. She was in position to get two. Look at this tripod. Barca. Oh, it was able to come out as Sestrova got a little bit too high and Barca able to get control and get two to the frustration of Bulgaria. He knew that was a missed opportunity for his wrestler. All right, let's see if that fires up Rostova. Down five, nothing. We begin period number two. Referee jumps in, chops away at the fingers. Barca, double underhook. Trying to get that right one planted a little bit more deeply, but Rostova not allowing it. So she switches to that over, has control of the right arm underneath, brings Rostova down, and a stalemate call with 2.35 to go. In the semifinals, when there's not a lot of separation, Right? No fingers. There's okay. a caution on Rostova, just as we say that. That's for fingers. Second time she's been warned on that, so that's a caution. That's the yellow square by her name, plus a point. Six nothing, the score. But it seems like in those scramble situations where it could go either way, it's been Barca who's come on top both times. Out of bounds, they go again. Should get another point, and she's up seven nothing, quickly getting away from Mimi Hestova. Meshe Barca in control in this semifinal. Just going to work on that left arm. Back on there once again. Really limiting the options for Ristova. Ristova tried to pass by there, clear the arm away, but Barca did not follow. Just a lot of leaning. Del Barca comfortable in this position just because of the score. 
Start. And a stalemate back to the center. Hey, sent up. And at 24 and counting, second period, semifinal of 57 kilos, maybe the toughest weight of the competition, featuring a pair of returning champions entering the competition today. Meshe Barca continues to be in control. Up 7-0. Both wrestlers looking for the trip, and it is Barca who comes on top. Two more to the total. She'll go to work in the top position, up 9-0. Okay, attention. <laughs> Bulgaria's win streak in these semifinals is going to come to an end. This is foul, okay? Hey. They rattled off three yesterday. Okay. Not though today in the semifinals. A little bit of a different story. You see the fingers call, 9 1. That time they tagged Barca with it. Aristova. She can clear that arm out. She'll get two here, but it's going to be a little too late. There's the two. 9-3, trying to latch on a lace around the ankles, but it won't be in the cards tonight. And that's how this one ends. Dominant finish by Ameshe Barca from start to finish. Had a couple of key sequences go her way in the first period, then she put it in cruise control in the final three minutes. And Barca is into the finals tomorrow night at 57 kilos.